I think you've got the gist of things at the moment. It's the Electric Picnic 2010. Uh, Jerry Whelan, otherwise known as uh, Jerry Fish, has dropped in. It's been a long time, my friend. How are you? It's been a long time since somebody called me Jerry Whelan. I've been Jerry Fish for ages now, yeah. I'm very good. I'm at a festival. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm bubbling with fest festivities. Speaking about a long time, I believe you were stage diving last night. That no, no, not me. No, no, that's very dangerous. No, but people, um, we were played at a Salty Dog last night and a lot of people jumped up. It reminded me of the old Celebrate days. I saw someone stage diving, which is banned now, I think. You can't, people can't do it. But we play at the illegal stages like the Salty Dog. And uh, yeah, it's just great to be part of a kind of some kind of anarchy kind of stage at the, at the Electric Picnic as well. Now, your most recent album with uh, the Mudbug Club is uh, The Beautiful and True, which came out last year. Uh, a period of five years in between the, the albums, or, or thereabouts, am yeah, I right? Yeah, it was kind of, a, uh, yeah, I mean, I, mean I'm, I'm, I suppose I'm a perfectionist in one ways, but also, I, I mean, people, I kind of run the record label and everything, and you spend a lot of time selling an album, so, like, Be Yourself was... Um, released a year after its release in Ireland, released in the UK. So there was, I suppose it was two years of kind of flogging by yourself, I suppose. We did a lot of complete blasphemy and played did a lot of festivals. So we did two big tours of Be Yourself. And then, um, I, you know, the, but even in that interim of two years, the whole industry had changed. So I was kind of catching up with how things are recorded digitally because I've always recorded with tape, analog. And um, so I really kind of got my hands head around the whole system of digital music, you know, and recording and releasing. So, so I mean, that's pretty much why it took so long. And also, it's a cracking album, and things take a long time to cook, you know, if they're good, you know. And I think uh, I'm very, very proud of that work, actually. When you talk about change, you had a metamorphosis from from Jerry Whelan, as I said, into Jerry Fish. Was the was the whole change kind of re, a reaction from the, just you wanted to get away from the rock thing, or is this something that you wanted to do all the time? Because you can't describe what you're doing as really rock anymore, although there's elements of it certainly. Yeah, I, I think I maybe felt at the time when I started the Jerry Fish and the Mudbug Club thing, I was too old to rock. I just thought like you know I never. didn't want to be an old. Yeah, well now I'm starting to think well never really, and I'm I'm, I'm interested. In, uh, in, in, in maybe investigating more in rock and uh, lots of things. I actually really think uh, with, with an emotional fish, I, I always felt, you know, it was, it was, we were an alternative rock band and then alternative became the kind of, every band was alternative. So I, I like an alternative to alternative. So I actually like to play around with what I do. I mean, the next record I plan to kind of just go in a completely different direction again, you know, because I, I really think it's important to kind of mess around with your music. That's what it should be, should be for, for, to keep you interested even, you know. So metamorphosis, uh, perhaps, but really it's just all oh, what I do, you know. Yeah. Now, I don't, I don't, a lot of people use show band in the, in, in, as a term of abuse, but there's elements when I've seen you play live, there's, there are elements of, of, of show bands, elements of lots of things in what you do. I mean, did you kind of just pick a, a lot of your favourite aspects of different types of music and put it into the performance that you do live? Yeah, it, it's kind of it's been organic, but I suppose I've always been in love with like circus culture. So so um, and that's hence I love this this kind of festival kind of atmospheres and stuff. And that really kind of where where it came from the whole circus culture. And I suppose I, I I've always played around with audiences and uh, got the audience to be part of the show. And uh, that's how. So I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I never kind of consciously create the kind of uh, the show band again, but I suppose with a brass section and their stuff, it kind of accidentally happened, this circus show band. I'm glad you didn't give me a slap for saying that anyway. A but slap. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, going to slap you around. Oh, you, 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 you're going to have to try and catch me first. Uh, <laughs> it, it, just uh, you, you, talking about an emotional fish, so many bands reform, whether it be for, for a short period of time, a long period of time or whatever. Or you pair of dreams. Uh, exactly. <laughs> we, have a, we have a small suitcase of cash here uh, oh, right. waiting for you small. in a minute. Mm. Um, uh, well, it's actually pretty big. Uh, would you ever consider doing more gigs with the lads? I, well, you know, we've kind of, uh, well, actually, Ender Wyatt, the bass player with the Most of Fish, who wrote that cracking uh, bass line for Celebrate, we, we've, he's written two or three songs on the on the latest album. We always write, and, and probably always will will do. So so we're still kind of playing around together. I don't know, really, to be honest, is the answer to that, you know. Dusting off Lace Virginia and all those blue, you know. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean there is 
I mean, I suppose it's difficult to go backwards. I mean, why would you want to go backwards? I'm kind of like, I'm enjoying this Jerry Fish thing. As I said, I'm, I'm kind of working with some uh, very interesting young people. Uh, Candice Gordon, uh, uh, she's put a band together called Candy and the Creeps. So new things are happening in my life now that I'm kind of interested in. I'm doing a poetry record and... Um, so I don't really kind of, I, I'm, I'm kind of going forward to be honest, you know. Brilliant. Well listen, it's a pleasure my friend, great to see you, congratulations on everything and uh, keep busy. Can I just mention that I've got three shows on, in uh, the Sugar Club, I've booked the Sugar Club in Dublin for three, for October, November, December, for the last Friday in every month and I'm planning to do the whole shebang basically, it's called Naked Fish, like with a, with a small kind of uh, piano setup. To, to the whole kind of big mudbug club thing, so uh, and a nationwide tour around that. So I'm looking forward to that. That's the next step for Jerry Fish. Brilliant. Look forward to it. Thanks a million. Thank you.